speaking to the Christian world at large and beyond that, which means everyone, uh, we put pictures of our family up in our homes. It's a pretty natural thing to want to do because it reminds us of a wonderful time or someone that we love. Well, I believe that Christ should be right there amongst our family. That's the greatest thing we can do for ourselves. The Picture of Christ program came because of a movie that I watched with my husband one Sunday afternoon. Uh, it was in this movie that a 13-year-old um, boy loses his life uh, because of the hatred that came from the 9-11 attacks. It was a game changer for me. Prior to 9-11, the movie is very positive and fun and, and even magical. But 9-11 hits and you start seeing this family disintegrate because he's Muslim and the fear the country has because of the Muslims and, and um, unfairly judging all Muslims to fit into the, the category of those 22 men that took down the t towers. And having seen the movie halfway through, Upon his death, I said to my husband, Look, I need to shut off the TV. I've, I've got to go blow my nose. I've got, to, um, I've got to stop crying. And it was hard to even stop crying. It was so emotional. And um, in so doing, I walked into the bathroom and sat on the edge of the tub and just prayed to my Heavenly Father, how, how does this happen? How do we get to a point living as a human being here that this is okay in the eyes of some to hurt other people, to to carry on this hatred and find some sort of satisfaction in it. it. Makes no sense to me. The things that are going wrong in our country are driven by hate. They're driven by um, power seekers. If you live in a world where the Savior is who you follow, and by following Him, you're keeping his commandments and you're following his example of how he taught and lived and loved and healed and there isn't any room for hatred and I just had this impression we have this kind of a world we live in because people do not know Jesus Christ and if we did at one time we've forgotten him or we're not strong enough to stand up for what we believe and that we believe in Him. And so our nation's crumbling, our families are crumbling because we don't, we no longer worship Jesus Christ, nor do we accept that He came here as the Savior of the world. When we know in our hearts who He is and we then come to love and respect Him, we will behave differently in our lives. We'll treat others differently. We'll treat ourselves differently. We'll be able to live the greatest commandments of loving our Heavenly Father and our neighbors as ourselves. In that conversation, I said, but what can I do? And my thought was, you've been given a gift to paint. That's what you can do. It's for others to determine what to do with those paintings. So I went to my son Stephen the next day at his office and I shared with him the experience that we'd had. I said to him, okay, so, I need you to find out a way to put a picture of Christ in every home. He said, in every home where? And I said, in the world. And he said, you're crazy. And I said, no, I was inspired. Now you need to be inspired to know how to do this. All these paintings have such, um, such a deep memory for me. This isn't about going to work every day. Um, this was my thoughts of the Savior looking for the blind men. And we're all pretty blind at times. We all fall into that category. He could be looking for us. What drives this for me is I want to make sure I did this right. I want to make sure that that impression that my Heavenly Father entrusted me with, I fulfill it to the best of my ability. So that means that we keep this program going until the very last person on this planet has accepted it, that's going to. I would be thrilled to death because it would be a better world. The fact that it's my pictures of Christ or Carl Block's, that's pretty irrelevant. 
that's not, that's never been part of this. I hope that, uh, that I'm doing it well enough so that if he were to come here today, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't see any disappointment in his eyes, that I would have done it the way he needed it to be done.